Last chance, get your Wild Wild West night tickets. Break up support kit to the rescue. We have Rocky Road, chocolate, vanilla. And your eyes aren't even red. No, no tears. Well, not many. True. All quiet on the Western Front? What? I broke up with Eli. Really? Do you need something, Drew? Uh, yes. I need help getting a scarecrow decoration out of the props room. Okay. Oh, it takes two people to carry a scarecrow? Well, it's big and heavy. And awkward. <clears throat> come on, Edwards. I'll come too. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine on our own. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. What I am going to miss you so much. <laughs> Touch ten, but I'm trying to read my script here. Besides, I'll only be gone for three months. Holy Thelma and Louise, I kill myself at the end? It, it's devastating. My character gets kidnapped, beaten, and kills herself instead of escaping. Well, how could she escape? She's tied to a chair for like half a minute. She could at least try. What's the message here? Don't get kidnapped. More like don't fight back. I'm calling my agent. But it's Brett Barnett. You have to do this. I don't want to play a victim. And don't. Talk to the director. You're the star. You're right. I'm Zoe Rivas. I can make this work. Hey, Sig. Got a sec? Uh-oh. You only bite your nails when you're anxious. Uh, you noticed that? I noticed a lot of things. I even know why you're anxious. You do? You want to stop waiting. Give us a chance. Am I right? I mean, you're still wearing my bracelet. Oh. Um. Sig, I think we should just be friends. You're still not over miles. So all that stuff that you said about waiting for me was a lie? I was worried you'd do something crazy. I'm not your charity case, Maya. No, you're my friend. We are not friends. So what are we looking for again? Uh, Simpson said there's some kind of scarecrow decoration in here. Well, we better find it quick, or else everyone's gonna think we're in here making out. <sighs> Hold down. What? what? The, the scarecrow. I bet it's in that box marked Hold down. So I'll just, uh, yeah, okay. Need help getting off? Okay. We should down. We should probably get back. Definitely. You sure you want to do this? Maybe, maybe we should talk first. Okay. Great talk. Right. In this scene, you are searching for an escape, but you realize the only escape is to kill yourself. Question. Mm -hmm. What if instead of that, she actually escaped? Hmm. I want to show girls that they aren't just helpless victims. Okay, that's a really good thought. Uh, have a seat. Why don't we just jump into it and see if we can make it work? Sure. Thanks for listening, Brett. Yeah. All right, so there's your jagged little pencil stub that you've been sharpening for never ever since you found it, you know, considering. Now, you cry for help. You start to realize that you're never getting out of here. And you don't want your captors to win. You don't want to be a victim. So now, 
fully empowered. You close your eyes and bam, you jam that pencil deep into your neck, smiling, finally free. That's good. I thought you were making changes. I did. I did. Originally, you'd do it sobbing, but, you know, now you do it fully empowered. You're smiling. You didn't think I'd actually change the whole ending, did you? I see. Okay, look, Zoe. I know you've been through uh, a thing, and I'm sympathetic. But your job is to follow the script, and if you can't do that, then I have to find somebody else. So decide. Can I bring this in? Why do people think bringing a gun to school is a good idea? You can't be a cowboy without a pistol, right? <laughs> you know who's here? You are. You didn't tell him where Claire is, did you? Yeah, are getting supplies in the prop room. You don't think they're really... It's the prop room. You of all people know what happens up there. Should we go stop them? No, uh -uh, I am not walking in on that drama. <sighs> Where's Zig? That's exactly what I was worried about. <sighs> Zig's a big boy. He'll get over it. Chill. Chill? That's your great advice? Last time someone I cared about disappeared, they never came back. OK, I'm sure Zig is fine. If he's not, I have to find him. No, we were so able to sing. No one will miss me, I'll go. You hate him. I know, but you don't. And I'd do anything for you. And don't cry, little lady. That was... Nothing like my dream. You, um, you dreamt about this? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you cute when you blush? I can't believe this happened. I hope it keeps happening. Me too, actually. You be ready for that? What are you doing here? So this is why you broke up with me? For him? It had nothing to do with Drew. <clears throat> okay, I should uh, probably get out of here. Ever since you kissed Lenore, it's been different. So I deserve to be broken up with over voicemail. You two clearly have a lot to discuss. I mean, you two even broken up. Yes. We are, and, and, and I would have done it in person had you picked up the phone, but you never pick up! I'm gonna give you two some space. One million dollar reward? What did you do? Zoe, please tell me you wrapped early. Brent and I had some... Creative differences. Ugh. You got fired. No. I left. <sighs> I tried, Tris, but I just couldn't do it. It's like reliving my assault, except my character lost everything. It's not worth the pain. You are so brave. Whoa, who's the hot mama? My mama. And if she sees me, she'll force me back to set. Or you could just stand up to her and tell her you don't want to do the movie. Are you going to judge or are you going to help? I need to hide. Come on, I can get you backstage. <sighs> What's with the pacing? My mouths and Zig are both MIA. They're not responding to texts? No. Why is Zoe here? Long story. Maya, 
You have a solo in five minutes. Yo, how am I supposed to go on stage when those two doofuses are doing who knows what, who knows where? Zoe, please tell me you sang Trello La Triangle on West Drive. I know the song. Patsy Klein, right? Any chance you want a solo, you have like five minutes to get ready. Love to help, but I'm kind of hiding right now. Zoe, I'm begging you here, okay? Miles and Zig might be killing each other for all I know. Hey, and at least your mom can't haul you off stage while you're singing, right? Fine. You're lucky I love Patsy. Okay, that. Thank you. Here to gloat? No, here to get you. We have a performance. Let's go. Why would I go in there when the party's clearly out here? <laughs> Look, Mai's worried, Zig. Uh, I know you care. Actually, I don't. Well, I do. I'm not letting you ruin this for her. So, come on. Don't touch me, rich boy. Fine. Suit yourself. Yeah, that's right. Walk away. Go back to my sloppy seconds. <sighs> Oh, man, this is going down. That's right. Go, take him, take him. Watch him, watch him. Is that all you got? Come on, rich boy, get up. Come on, man. Go. Take him down, man. <laughs> Broke the rich kid. <laughs> This isn't over. It looks pretty over to me. <laughs> Please stop pacing, it's freaking me out. So are you over me? Like truly end our epic romance over voicemail. Over me. I know I'm over being sad all the time. Wondering when you'll call. Do you have any idea how lonely I've felt these past few months? But, but I'm here now. So I had to break up with you for it to become important enough for you to come. Okay, look, I'm sorry, Claire. Long distance is hard, but I promise it'll get better. How? When was the last time we actually talked? Yeah. Okay, look, I get it. I've been far away, and Lenore was a one-time thing, so I totally get you making that kind of mistake. Drew's not a mistake. He's been my rock. He helped me through chemo brain. He was there when you weren't. He chased a rat for me. Claire, please. I don't want her story to end this way. Not like this. Our story ended months ago, Eli. I need to move on. Over him. Are you over Bianca? Yeah. I'm, I mean, I think so. See? Oh, well, she's not over him. Why'd she say she was into me? You hooked up with Zoe, like, right after Bianca broke up with you. And you know what? Maybe you're like Claire's Zoe. Oh, 
Um, what a pleasant surprise. I can't believe you. Storming out of rehearsal so you can sing at some party? I couldn't do it, Mom. I was a helpless victim again. I understand it's hard. But let's apologize to Brett and fix this. I'm not apologizing to that jerk. If you don't, you're done with this film. Do you remember my first role? Pampers commercial. You're six months old. I've been acting for as long as I can remember. And every role has been your choice. I'm tired of being used by people. By Brett, by Luke, and by you. So this is Teenage Rebellion? No. This is me being mature for once. Better see if I can spin this so it doesn't destroy your career. Draw! I'm not in the mood, Chewie. Why aren't you inside? They won't let me take this beauty in there. So why don't you just leave it in the box like everyone else? Well, this is an official Wyatt Earp 6 shooter replica. I'm not leaving it in some box with toys. Can I see that? Hey, dude, what happened to your face? Are you okay? I will be if Zig thinks this is real. Whoa, whoa, wait, bad idea, man. You don't know what it's like, Chewie. There's always going to be a third person in our relationship. Just give me that gun. Relax, Chewie. I'm just going to scare him. Hey! Back for another beating? <laughs> no, I'm just excited to wipe a smug grin off your face. <laughs> Listen, okay. <laughs> you brought a real gun to this thing, man. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm the rich kid, remember? You don't think my dad is a collection of antique pistols? That's so tough now, look, huh? Look, look, just put the gun down, man. This is crazy. <laughs> I don't know. This feels pretty awesome to me. Miles! Is that a gun? Oh, God, that's a gun. What the hell are you doing? It's not real, OK? It's a toy. You held my man up with a toy? OK, man, let's just go, OK? What is your problem? I asked you to find Zig, not put a gun in his face. <laughs> he kicked the crap out of me. I mean, every time we get good, he screws us up. Yeah, well, I think you've done a good job of that yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I'm sorry. OK, I'm sorry. I told you you scare me, Miles, that you're unstable, and still you do this? Hey, Maya, you don't understand. No! I can't be with the guy who scares me. Not again. Look, look you just need to think. Okay, just go. Come on, man. Stop. Terrible. At least it's really over. This is a bad idea. Drew, it, it is over between me and Eli, I promise you. Look me in the eye and tell me some part of you doesn't still love him. It's complicated, but I care about you, Drew. I'm saying if we get together now, I'll never be anything more than your rebound. And I deserve more than that. It's time for me to walk off into the sunset, Claire. So much miscommunication. Like I don't even speak your language. I'm not against the thought of you. Sure know how to pick a mountain? I'm sorry. For what? Your boyfriend pointing a gun at my head? He's not my boyfriend. Not anymore. Good. Because he's crazy. And you can do better. Can I? This is my fault. All of it. 
What are you talking about? I just could have been honest with you from the beginning. None of this would have happened. Can I get there? <laughs> I can't believe you don't hate me. Not gonna happen. So we're still friends? Yeah, still friends. <laughs> you want some? Yeah, give me.